Hi developers, in this video we'll learn how to use the Instagram API with Xamarin Forms. So the goal of this video is to retrieve the Instagram images with all the information related to the uh, published date of, the, um, of that image, the person or the user who have published that um, image with his profile uh, picture along with other information like the, uh, for example, uh, the thumbnails of the image or the um, mid image uh, size of that uh, image. So let's get started. Hi, the, the purpose of this uh, video is to learn how to retrieve uh, data from Instagram API. So we we'll build an application that looks like this one so here we get all the images uh, from uh, instagram from a certain user here it's uh, from zamarino for example with these images we get information like the text associated with that um, image also we get the number of uh, likes the number of uh, commands so the same as working in android application is also working for my Windows uh, 8 application so let's uh, see how we can implement this uh, application so here I have created Xamarin Forms uh, application by going to a file hit new project and select after that um, hitting here visual uh, c sharp cross platform and here i'm using the blank app with the portable plus library this template here so after creating that project now i'll go and uh, to my portable project right click and choose manage nuget packages here i'm gonna add a package that will add um, code for my application that code contains um, all the details about getting the information from Instagram API. So I'll go and look for a plugin, uh, call it plugin.instagram. Once we have found that plugin.instagram, now I'll go and install that plugin inside my portable project. So I'll go and hit uh, install. Installing this plugin will add um, three folders with three classes the first one inside the models will be the Instagram item this is the item I retrieve from Instagram which contains information about the username the full name the profile picture uh, and information about the images Instagram here provides low, resolu low resolution image and a thumbnail image for uh, each post and the standard resolution URL. Along with the image, you get also the text, the created time, the likes count, and the commands uh, count. So as you see here in our uh, Android application, you see here that um, this information here is the user name. Then we get the profile uh, picture, the um, standard resolution URL for the image posted in Instagram also we get the text which is written here in black then we get information about the likes count the number of likes and number of uh, comments as indicated here after the uh, username so this is for the models we have also the view model which uh, contains uh, a list of Instagram uh, items how we can retrieve the data from Instagram uh, from Instagram um, uh, API that's here inside the init data async um, method here we have used the HTTP client and we make the call using this uh, single line of code so you, before we use it to use um, this um, URL, but it's not working anymore as Instagram now is changing its 
a policy so that it requires users to be authenticated to you in order to uh, get um, uh, data from Instagram API. So as a workaround, we, we are using this um, platform. So it is not, it's hitting the API, but it's just a workaround. Uh, using this, you just can retrieve data, not uh, posting uh, images. So that's fine for the purpose of our demo as we are just, uh, we want just to uh, retrieve the images from uh, Instagram API. But if you want to do more uh, than retrieving image, you want to post images, then you, uh, you are required to go through the uh, API so to retrieve the images, you, you, you use this URL and here I'm passing the uh, parameter which is the name of the uh, user profile, the name of the Instagram user. Here I'm using as a sample uh, Zamarin HQ. This request will return JSON data. We'll go now with this code to parse that um, JSON data to, or to serialize, deserialize that JSON uh, data to retrieve for each uh, Instagram item to retrieve the username, the full name and uh, the other information related to each Instagram item. So that we have the view model with the Instagram items. Now we want to show these Instagram items inside the list view in our uh, summary forms. So for that here we have the Instagram view page. So here you see we are binding to uh, that uh, Instagram view model. And we are creating a data uh, template that will contain those information about um, about the username, the text that we are binding uh, to uh, uh, to some uh, labels, and the same for the profile picture and the standard resolution URL that we are binding here to um, to images. Once we have created that data template, we go and bind it to um, to a list view to say that uh, the item template will use that data template we have created and of course we set also the binding to the list view to the Instagram items the one um, coming from our um, Instagram view models which is this one here Instagram items here for the binding in C sharp you, you, we, are, we use um, string so once we have done that now I get this Instagram view page and here is from content page so it's type content page by doing that I can uh, that means I have now a full page that contains uh, data coming from Instagram so now I want to use this page for that I'll go to the app.cs and here change the main page and instead of using the uh, content page Let's go and use the page I have created, which is Instagram view page. So by choosing that and by going and run uh, the application, you will get that application um, working on Windows Store and window and uh, Android and also uh, Windows Phone and iOS also. <laughs> So that will give this same user interface here respecting the data template we have just created. So this is a simple way. I didn't have added any code. I didn't write, wrote any code. I just used that um, Instagram, that uh, plugin.instagram which um, added the required code for me, uh, that code that do uh, calling the API and parsing data to retrieve all the information I need about each item of the uh, Instagram images. And that plugin also adds this sample page 
the sample page here, here is written in C sharp. So as you know, in Xamarin forms, we can write um, pages either in uh, C sharp or we can also write them uh, using uh, XAML. So this uh, sample provides that page written in C sharp. But if you want to get that page written in XAML, then you only uh, then you have that code here. So let's say now I want to write that page in XAML. So I, I just copy this code and add a new view here. So let's say I call um, and make it um, XAML page. For that, I choose here cross platform form XAML page and let's call it, for example, uh, Instagram Instagram page, for example. And here, instead of having this default label, I'll add that code coming from my uh, Instagram view page. Let's uh, just remove these uh, comments. So here I'm removing those by hitting Alt and um, the right, uh, the left um, button inside my mouse, and then hit um, Shift. Just some modifications here. Yeah, now we are good. So here we are binding against our Instagram view model, and here the view models uh, should be coming from the XML namespace, which will be called uh, view models that points to um, to the assembly and to the namespace where the view models is inside. So by doing that now, I can go and point to uh, my Instagram uh, page inside of my Instagram view page. And if I run my application again, then I will get this same uh, user interface. So I hope this demo was, um, was useful for you as it adds um, Instagram, a full Instagram uh, page with all the details with all the details you might want to get from the Instagram uh, API. So this way you can add, uh, you can simply add this uh, page inside your applications whenever you want to get um, the profile or, uh, or the posts of a user inside um, Instagram. So thank you.